was like 50 degrees out there. What's up, YouTube? It's a tidbit nipple right now. 50 degrees. It's fall. Still riding. Ride till the mother starts snowing. Yeah, so if you can see, um, my right mirror is not on. Because my cousin dropped a ladder on it. Yes. Dropped a freaking ladder on it. Uh, he was moving some things around in the garage and it was above my bike and dropped the ladder on it. He feels real bad. He'll pay for it. So that's not an issue. I cracked my windscreen right here too, so I gotta get that replaced. So yeah, that's why my right mirror is missing. Got my left mirror, so I'm good. I'm legal. I had them both off and it is looking real clean. Wish I could just ride like that, but too scared. I don't want no freaking ticket. But yeah, so that's why my mirror is off. Um, I'm starting to ride a little bit more. I'm start posting videos now. I just got off work. Well, it seems like the only time I get to ride now is to work. Oh, it's taking their turn. where that's from. Which motor vlogger uses that? Extra points if you could list it in the, the comments below. Let's go for a ride! Yeah, I'm gonna be riding until it snows. I don't mind it at all. I got my, my liner and my jacket on, so keep me extra nice and warm. I know I say it all the time, but I really do appreciate all those people that are out there still watching my videos, even though I don't post as much, but I guarantee I will be uploading. Had to take a little mini break. But now I'm back, and I'm better. Feels good to be on the bike. To talk about today or I mean tonight as you can see it's a darkest poop on a stick and just wanted to talk about just using your super sport as a commuter you know can you do it is it come well I got a CBR and everyone you know the a lot of people could say that it's one of the more comfortable sports bike um, I mean, I've ridden R1. I thought that was a pretty comfortable bike. An 04. R... I don't know. Maybe I, I just like the aggressive seating position, I guess. I mean, I'm not all hunched over like this. I'm sitting straight up. Not straight up, but you know, I'm not leaned forward all the way. And it's not bad. I mean, as long as you keep your elbows bent a little bit. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's not super aggressive. And, you know, I got my backpack on. So, got my trunk with me if I need to carry anything. I got my Nintendo Switch in the back. Yeah, kill Switch with his Nintendo Switch. You like that? You like that? I bet you do. I love that thing. Love my Nintendo Switch. I've been playing uh, Zelda and NBA 2K lately. That's my jam. And I got a Pokemon for my son. Can't be all greedy and selfish and not share. So, yeah. I mean, I got my trunk, so yeah, I, I feel, I really feel like you can use your CBR as a commuter. 
I don't know, I can't say that for like an R6. What I've read is that their seating position is pretty aggressive. Um, haven't been on one. I'd love to ride one. Or uh, a Ninja 636 or anything. I haven't been on any of those. But I can tell you about the CBR is that it is comfy to me. And everyone's different. Everyone has their own opinion and it's all subjective it's how long you can ride I mean I've ridden to Stillwater and back with little breaks I don't know how long of a ride that is but I'm, I'm gone for a couple hours and I felt real comfortable so I really think you could use your sports bike as a commuter I mean it's not ideal but you know if you sit up one-handed Sit up with one hand on your lap, other hand on the throttle. I mean, you're pretty much upright and you can look around, you're just cruising. I mean, this is the, the position you see a lot of sports bikes riders are in. Look at it. And if you counter steer, you can turn with one hand. Oh! can see you can turn you can maneuver still with one hand it's counter steering watch this counter steer one hand oh I was going on a little bender and no issues at all I'm cruising right now I'm just cruising and I think you can use this bike as a beginner bike, in my opinion. I mean, people, a lot of people say, oh, don't start on a 600. You can start on a 600, as long as you don't go up in the revs. Um, you don't get the real power until higher up in the revs. I mean, if you shift early, the thing is weak. I mean, once you start getting it up in the revs, that's when you get all the power. So, if you have self-control, Starting on one of these is no issue at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. Not everyone is the same. Not everyone reacts the same. Some people freeze up in, you know, clutch situations. Some people just have that clutch gene. Some people are just like that. So if you're you're the type to like freeze up and you don't you have to think about stuff then this may not be the bike for you a 600 might not be right as a commuter or just as an everyday bike for you but not, we're not all the same so the rules shouldn't apply to everyone just my opinion everyone has their own opinion it's not always black or white, you know, there is a gray area that does not apply to everyone all the time. So if you're thinking about getting a 600 as a commuter, you know, ask yourself, do you have self-control? Are you a big boy? Can you handle big toys? Can you handle the power? If not, then start on a beginner bike. 300, there's what, 500 now, uh, whatever, you know. Something with less than 100 horsepower. I guess that's my video. And in my videos, I have no topic. I mean, I try to stick on the topic and then I start jumping left and right, hopscotching all over the place. This is just me riding and talking to myself and hoping people like me. I hope you like me. You want to be my friend? If not, screw you. I don't care. Thank you for watching my video. Love you lots. Subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes, I said thumbs up. Alright, see you guys. Kill switch. Out.